Hello my friends of Hatarila, my name is Jorge Montoya, welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial will be about the numerical modeling of a floating object stability with open foam. Uh, we are going to do some interesting things in this um, tutorial. First of all, the, that we are going to simulate a dynamic mesh. Yeah. And this dynamic mesh it becomes with a lot of parameters in the model construction. We are going to see an overview of this these terms uh, my personal uh, for you that are learning open form I strongly recommend that you follow this tutorial from the beginning with the geometry and then you saw out which are the parameters involved and how do you have to and after you have played with the model and after you have simulated the tutorial as it is you can play around of what you have to do with your own case okay so let's see you will find this this code at the at the beginning of on the description of this mod of this okay so I have to I will do a um, backup okay here you will have the initial conditions okay the initial conditions uh, this alpha water and this motor scale you have to you have to um, to delete it because actually what you will do is that you will place this alpha water and motion in scale here okay let's see what is in alpha water in alpha water we have um, the stationary walls the atmosphere that is the top the top part yeah um, what else do we have we have zero gradient as well the a floating the floating object no? so we have three boundary conditions the stationary walls the the atmosphere and the floating object okay on epsilon that is related to the flow conditions we have these values for the stationary wall for the atmosphere and for the floating object the k epsilon as well we have these values as well on the motion scale and we we have these values on the nut as well we have these values that are very similar to the epsilon we have on pressure we have that pressure is fixed pressure for all of them yeah is fixed pre uh, is fix no except for the atmosphere and for other is um, there is no on the patches there is no there are no velocity defined point displacement uh, we have the stationary walls and there is no point displacement except for the floating object that is calculated and the velocity there is no velocity because in the end where we are going to what we are going to simulate is the what we are going to simulate is the is a wave so actually it's not water coming into the into the model okay so let's see here okay the dynamic codes are some code for the that is used for the simulation actually you don't have to do much here and okay and then on okay let's see on constant on constant you have the dynamic mesh dict actually this you didn't this is this is a uh, okay this is not working because actually it's not not exactly the name but this is for rigid body motion and the that is a uh, that is a body that do not have all the degrees of freedom but uh, in this in this simulation we are going to use this one that is six degrees of freedom ready body motion that actu is actually 
the floating object can have uh, displacement on the XYZ and rotation on the XYZ okay axis okay so the the floating object has a lower density than water that's why it floats and these are the the dimension of the floating object okay and then I strongly recommend that you start to read a lot because this is this is what it will bring you to understand what is going on here okay then gravity goes in the set direction negative transport properties we have Newtonian water and air because we are we use interform yeah on the turbulence we are on the ras of k epsilon that's why we need the that's why here we have k and epsilon and this is the nut 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 is the nut i think let me check i don't know if i take nut out it will still work because nut is another Nut K is another type of of it. Okay, I uh, I do not want um, I do not want to to experiment here in this video, but let let's try. Okay, okay. So in constant everything is okay. On system we have the block mesh did the block mesh did is actually what it it creates a a cube of one meter per by one meter. Okay. A control dict that we're going to simulate for only four seconds but every 0 0.05 that's why we are going to simulate every 0 0.05 because we want uh, the oscillations due to the geometry of the model the oscillations are really fast so in order to to represent well the, those oscillations we need to have a very a small right interval okay this is the composed part dict in case you want to decompose and to do parallelization we work on windows so actually i don't know how to do it in ubuntu you can do more on this you have some schemas yeah these are more parameters that you have to solve what you are going to do okay on control dict mm -hmm. okay solution let's see pimple hmm. on set fields dict you have this is actually this is the level of the of the cube on the cube so it's 0 0.53 and the we are going to have um we are going to have um a wave that is coming from one side and it has a height of 0 0.75 so it's actually around 20 centimeters higher than the than the than the initial value okay and this is the topo set that is that this this one is that actually creates this floating object okay so let's run it why not so here we are an open form for windows okay in case you okay and then I s ls and then it rounds it locates me here and say cd simulation less okay okay here here you have on all run so if you have seen this these are the commands that you need to know that you need to to run so first is block mesh okay so we have created the block mesh that there are 12 12,000 12, cells then say topo set okay so we have already inserted the the floating object here and then we we are then we need to do this one I always copy and paste it because I feel so kind of lazy. Okay, 
that is a warning here that I strongly recommend that you read more because then we we set up the initial conditions okay and then we just run interform okay great so it's working and it will work for some minutes and I will stop the um, I will stop the simulation here and I will wait till it's finished so let's see see you in the coming in the coming tutorial